भविष्य दर में हजू अपेक्षा भारत की कुल वस्ती टका वस्ती धरावत गुजरात क्वार्टर गुजरात सौ एक लाख ओगनीस हजार करोड़ FBI. It is a diverse state that consists of not only Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, Parsis, Jewish, all claiming to be Gujaratis and hailing from that state. Once again, thank you very much, and I look forward to learning from all the distinguished leaders on what is it that Gujarat has to offer to the world. Jai Hind. God bless you. we are shaping new india with the futuristic infrastructure so i would like to highlight that the dfcs 36% passes through gujarat that gujarat has invested in developing special uh, investment region and special investment clusters alongside the this dfcs and we to provide the last, last mile connectivity we have decided to connect all the existing port to the dfcs we uh, we have the ifsc first of ever kind of financial services center city in gujarat that is the, that is india's only hub with world class infrastructure for international and offshore transaction so so uh, the basically our focus is to house the industries relating to financial services and it industries today india is exporting soya rice wheat pulses and various peanuts all kind of agriculture outputs are much high similar way horticulture also india is taking place in a word we were importing a big quantity of various kind of horticulture and today india is exporting so india is a consuming economy as well as provide the export platform and gujarat is well placed because we have eight active ports and new six ports are coming and due to the new labor policy which is very friendly and you can i think uh, hire a people at very competitive cost that is the main thing to reduce your cost i must recall the visit of governor of new jersey governor phil murphy to to gujarat in 2019 september 2019 which we were which we facilitated consulate general of india work with the governor's office in organizing that visit we can organize many more of such interactions but of course we will need your support i'm sure you are there and we need to work together in promoting gujarat investigation for for those of us who are elected uh you know and and those of us who are younger and elected you know we can only do so because of uh the immigrant generation uh that came before us because of you because of uh my parents generation who came uh to uh the US uh and survived and and now are thriving uh and that is very important uh and now you know our community is is overall doing well obviously we're you know in the globe in the midst of a global you know economic and and health crisis but you know our community is doing well and and one of the things that uh you know when when a community prospers uh, we as the diaspora uh, you know must also look uh to you know our our native land uh, india honorable chief minister rupani ji uh, deputy chief minister honorable uh, deputy cg uh, satrugna sinha ji and distinguished guest and dear friends as a founding member of uh, gujarati gujarati association of north america 
uh, it's my privilege and honor to host this webinar in conjunction with the FIA. Today, we are going to discuss the artificial intelligence uh, and its role in the healthcare industry in India. Artificial intelligence involves the use of the computer software that can assess, critically analyze, and interpret data similar to the human being. We currently see artificial intelligence in many industry to optimize efficiency and reduces the cost. Healthcare is an area that affects all of us personally and is an industry, which in the US is the size of the entire French economy. Healthcare also has unique challenges of access with the many physician and health centers in the large cities, increasing cost and, and need to address a growing and aging population. How artificial intelligence can help us is that right now, one issue is uh, improving access. So both in the US and India, many patients are from rural areas or due to crowding and now with many COVID restrictions, are unable to come in and be identified to seek care when they need it. What artificial intelligence can do is bring home, bring care outside of a traditional clinic and maybe from smartphones or certain centers, patients can be um, identified easier without the need for an in-person physician or nurse. And this can help identify at-risk patients and bring them into care, both reducing costs and hopefully also improving care. I know that when I go in to film a travel TV show, because our shows are all about putting locals on camera, they guide us through the area and share the history and the culture. And um, Gujarat has so much of that to express and share everything from the culture and cuisine and festivals to the Buddhist circuit and UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And those are the types of things that it's, it's amazing to understand when, when you share that content and information with the world, they wanna go and travel to India, they wanna travel to Gujarat, they wanna experience those places. They get to experience them through the power of television and through sharing of that information and content. But then so many people will go and, and do those things because they feel like they've learned about the place and they've experienced it through the people. The Statue of Unity in Kewadia of Sardar Patel is attracting tourism and tourists, not just from India, from across the world. And I encourage you to visit Kewadia. It is a project born out of visionary leadership of Prime Minister of India, Sri Narayan Modi. I also would encourage you, given my own experience, to visit Rana Festival. I've been there in Rana Festival, and I can tell you it is a unique experience which is not to be missed by anyone. So welcome to Gujarat, and welcome to Rana Festival, and welcome to Kumar. Please enjoy this conclave, and I'm sure it will, it will give a major boost to the connect that the diaspora of Gujarati, people of Gujarati origin, here in the United States, have to the state of Gujarati. Thank you very much.